Okay, now that negation's done, we can move on to disjunction. Disjunction closely resembles the English or, though with a difference we'll discuss in a minute, in much the same way that negation resembles the English term not. But there's an important difference between these two in terms of their syntax. Not applies to one sentence, say A. Or applies to two, A or B. We would never say or A or A or without completing the sentence. This is what's meant when we say that not is a unary connector whereas or is binary. Now we write this as follows. A or, or is represented by this wedge, B. Here are the truth conditions for this. First we have to write out all the possible combinations of A and B. A or B means that either A or B or both is true. So it's at least one of them, not at most one in the way we use it in English. So a and B are both true, that makes A or B true. B is true and A is false, so A or B is true. A is true and B is false, A or B is true. But if they're both false, then A or B is false. Now this is the conspicuous difference between logical OR and the English term OR. Typically when we use OR in English, we mean it in what's called the exclusive sense. We mean A or B, but not both. But in first order logic, the OR sign is inclusive. And that means that it can be true as it is here when both A and B are true. And that's the one tricky thing about logical OR, that it works somewhat differently from how we're used to in English. So let's look at a few examples before we wrap this up. Consider the following sentence, which uses negation, which we saw in the last video. A is a cube or A isn't a cube. Well, think about the possible combinations here. Suppose that A has to be one of the following, a cube, in which case cube A is true, a tetrahedron, in which case tet A is true, or a dodecahedron, in which case dodec A is true. Well, if cube A is true, then the first disjunct, the left-hand disjunct, is true. But if A is a tetrahedron, then the left-hand disjunct comes out false, but the right-hand disjunct comes out true, since no tetrahedron is a cube. Or if A is a dodecahedron, then likewise the right-hand disjunct comes out true because no dodecahedron is a cube. So in this case we have a sentence that will always be true in our blocks language. This sentence actually belongs to a very special class of sentences which we'll be dealing with later on which are called tautologies. They're always true. And this one has the form A or not A. Let's look at one further example. Take a sentence like front of or back of does this express a logical truth? If you like, pause the video for a minute and think about this. The answer is no. Suppose we have our grid representing Tarski's world, and it so happens that A and B are in the same row. Then front of AB is false, and back of AB is also false. And as we know, disjunction requires that at least one of them be true. So that if both A and B are false, then A or B is also false. And that's how disjunction works in first order logic.